Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned, React, Episode 10. We're going to be looking at the lifecycle methods that are available to you within each React component. So far, we've just basically been using uh, the constructor very limitedly and um, just displaying static things out with a component. Well, you can do a lot more with components, and they're extremely powerful. So our app currently has a couple of buttons here. And then if we have the state of visible, we're going to show this component. Otherwise, we're going to hide it. And we have a couple of click handlers here that just basically toggle the visible and toggle the status. Um, and then we bind them to this. And so not a lot going on in the app. Let me just show you real quick what it looks like. So you have a couple of buttons here and then the status, uh, which is this displayed some component. And I'll show that to you in just a second. So we can change each of these, and we can remove the element, toggle it back on and off. So let me refresh that. So here's the, the list of the components that are available to you in the lifecycle of a component. So constructor, component will mount, component will receive props, should component update, component will update, render, component did update, and component will unmount. So, and that's the order that they go in. So if you see here, we have the constructor, component will mount, render. So that's where what uh, will mount and then render. Nothing doing with props here yet, but if I go ahead and change the props sent to it, we'll see component will receive props, should component update, component will update, render, and then component did update. And this is only called if there is props as well. And then if I remove it, you'll see component will unmount. So I'm not going to go through the details of what each of these are best used for. Uh, what I would do is I would read the APIs here under this React um, guide that Facebook has out. And really, I would look in the API. I mean, there's a lot of cool things you can do. For example, should component update is called before component will update, render, etc. And you can check in here the next props that you have in the next state versus the current props and state and if you choose to not render so you need to return true or false here um, it'll end up being a lot faster for your react app to render so using little things like that will help you increase the speed of your application um, you can set in here like component will mount um, the place to like do API calls to grab external data etc and same with unmounting, if you want to go ahead and clear timers or anything like that that you have going on, it's a good spot to do that as well. So read through the docs, uh, see what they say, and um, you can build really, really powerful things with all of this. So if you like what you saw today, please subscribe. Thank you.